Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ and this highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, open again for indoor dining. It's all left to play for here on the last day of more league baseball. And while Milliken visits Lakewood, we're here at Wilson where the Bruins are hosting Long Beach Poly. With a win, Polly can take a share or the whole thing and repeat as league champs. And with a win and a Milliken win, the Bruins can force a four-way tie for the first time in history. This is everything you dream of as a young baseball player. So as Mills Lane said, let's get it on. Back from injury and taking the ball for Polly is senior lefty Liam Alpern, and as has been the case for Wilson, they're going to go with the junior ace, Charlie Royal. Also, as has been the case in this league, early action, first bat of the game, Troy Chris, but oh, Sebastian Smith on the hot corner, faster than the speed of Pan, that would loom large. Up next is Kenny Barnaby, and he singles up the middle to get the Rabbits running. Barnaby got wheels, and they would play a factor today. Ryan Shonsby follows that up with a shot to the right side. Great job to keep the ball in the infield, but the throw to first is wide, and the error puts two runners in scoring position for Polly with just one out. However, as a few pitchers would do today, Royal gets a little PFP and a fly out to left field to get out of the jam. Bottom first, Wilson also on its game as Brett Abadiah singles to lead it off. He would end up taking second on a sacrifice bunt, and then this off the bat of DJ Erkman to the left side. They're gonna go to third, but the throw is wide. So Wilson also with two runners in scoring position and one out in the first inning. AJ Castano comes up next and he sends a high fly ball to center field. That runner is tagging and Barnaby is up and throwing. It looked online off the hand and catcher Bobby Ramirez, their perfect position to catch it, tag him through contact, got him. The defensive machine that is KB23 coming up clutch again for Polly. Wilson flashing the leather in the second inning as well. John Lannerman going into the slide to get this one out with a runner at second. So many plays could have been the turning point in this game. Speaking of John John, it's deuces wild in the bottom of the second as number 22 hits a double off the wall or the fence or whatever is out there. He comes into second and one of my favorite celebrations, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin because that's the bottom line. With two outs, Zach Wakefield gonna swap spots with John John. He's gonna put that double into the gap in left center field. Light the Lanterman. The Bruins are on the board for that all important lead in a nervy game like this. Wilson up 1 0, headed to the third inning. Gotta take a second to tip the cap to a quality campus crowd that got loud and a little bit bigger as this game got longer. They were even filling in that sidewalk seat section down the first baseline. Love to see that. Strange play here in the third as Castano not granted the timeout with the runner on and two outs. Instead, he's gonna try to hit that. It's a foul ball. Looked like it was out, but Troy Chris gonna go all Derek Jeter and sacrifices the body to track it down. End the inning, doing exactly what you want your senior captain to be doing. That's about the time Royal and Alpern settled in a bit. Char, though, broils them in the fourth inning with back-to-back -back strikeouts swinging, and then Alpern getting by with a little help from his friends in the fourth. Failed hit and run, Ramirez making sure the bases are empty by cutting that down. More from him in a second. As one of the best hitters in this league, Edgar Rosales wanted the ball in this game, so he takes it, and after a scoreless fifth inning, he's gonna come up first in the sixth inning and lead off with a double to right field. Chris, Barnaby, and a couple other Jackrabbits after this game said Rosales is by far the best player in the Moore League, and boy did he prove it today. He is definitely driving the bus for the Jackrabbits. As they've done all year, the Rabbits ready to run with some small ball. Sebastian Labario sacrifice bunt moves Rosales over to third base with just one out. And Ramirez is up there. It's a suicide squeeze! But the bunt attempt is missed. Polly just trying to tie the game up. What a moment that would have been. But after battling with two strikes on him, it is big game Bob. Coming up huge with a single through the pulled in infield. That's going to bring in the tying run. Momentum comfortably wearing green and gold right now. And they are not done here in the decisive sixth inning. Diego Falancic and Raymond Jenkins both going to single into right field with two outs. So Pauly has the bases loaded and the game and the season hanging in the balance. Not that you'd expect anything less from a season like this. Wilson going to stick with their guy and polly has got their guy coming up as well with Chris at the crossroads. It's a full count. It's a challenge pitch and Jesus Chris is a savior. A kid who has been a huge part of this program since he started as a freshman trying to christen his team as champs once again with a two RBI single. What a knock. What a time. Polly leads 3-1 in the sixth. Now, if you think Wilson's just going to roll over and die, then you just don't know this team and what they've been through this year. Erkman going to get the rally going in the bottom of the six with a double as he turns to his team and says, let's keep this rolling, rolling, rolling. Castano will abide and with a single up the middle, all of a sudden the Bruins have the tying run on base with just one out. 
John John gonna do a job again for his team as the senior sends this fly ball to deep center field. That went a little too deep for Kung Fu Kenny to get his magic arm around it. So it's now 3-2 Pauly with two outs. The tying run is 90 feet away. Smith up next for Wilson, but Rosales bows his neck and gets the ground ball that Chris turns into a routine 6-3 put out. That ends the threat, puts Pauly three outs away from back-to-back -back league titles. But again, not out of the woods yet. Wilson got another two-out rally in him. Nathan Gomez, guard Schwartz, hits that single to keep the season alive. And after a sack button and a hit by pitch, pinch runner Diego Orozco is the game-tying run at second base. Joe McGrath looking to play a hero, but Rosales gets him to sky one to the right side. And after one hell of a league season, it's winner, winner, champion size dinner. And the Rabbits want second helpings. Polly goes back to back league champs for the first time in school history. Tough to make history at Polly, but there it is, folks. Gotta say first, it's absolutely heartbreaking for Wilson. After the start, they had to be four outs away from a share of that league crown is very impressive. But as you can see here on the right side of your screen, that's Coach Brent Lavoy delivering the news that Milliken beat Lakewood. So Pauly now has that league title all to themselves and will enter the Division II playoffs as the number one seed out of a great league. Wow. Of all the crazy more league baseball seasons we've seen, that is certainly one to remember and might take the cake. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And if you want to continue to follow Long Beach Baseball, you continue to support the 562.org.